It's October the 11th. We're assembled at the Stry Senior Center at Strathroy. And the Strathroy Caradoc Lions are about to do the draw for week 16 in their Catch the Ace Progressive Raffle. The ticket drawn today will earn $150 right away. The cumulative pot is $3,600. So if the Ace is in the envelope which we open today, the total payout is $3,750. We're going to go get the security box in the safe and get the envelopes. Around. I'll get ready to find them for you. Okay. Well, how much is it? I can just give you a check. It's uh, the same, 55. 55. Okay, thanks. There's all the envelopes ready to be put on the board. Uh, Vanna 1 and Vanna 2. You wait till people see this video of me sweeping back and forth. <laughs> Ticket 6 is a placeholder that was chosen in a previous week. So that's not an envelope, it's just a hold placeholder card. That person won $150 for having their ticket drawn, but that envelope 8, for example, did not contain the Ace of Spades. So here we go. <laughs> you know, Lion Heidi, I've been getting emails from all around the world saying, who is that woman in the video that you're showing every week? Can I show my good side? <laughs> <laughs> that is your good side. <laughs> oh, no, I got a better one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you what the questions were they were asking me, did I? <laughs> I didn't want to know, but tell me. <laughs> oh, we're having too much fun, better stop. Um, <laughs> If you count the number of X's on the board, you will see that there are 15. That means that in the previous 15 weeks, those envelope numbers were chosen. They each won $150.
but the ace is one in one of the other ones. So uh, let's load the drum. No, I've never done it. My turn. There you go. How many, how many did we sell, Lion Jean? 150 tickets sold. How many did we have for sale? 150. That's 100%. Huh? Yay! 15 weeks sold out. A tent. Okay, here's the dramatic part. She's doing a pretty good job for standing still. <laughs> Pretend it's your husband. Oh, Give him a good hey. shake. her eyes, rumbles and mumbles around inside, and who do we have? Uh, Merle Fisher. Okay. Merle Fisher, and she has drawn envelope number 44. Let's see what we get in envelope 44. There is envelope 44. King of Spades. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. My gosh. King of Spades. Jean, would you hold the camera while I take a take a shot of that, please? King of Spades, there, no King of Clubs. That's a Spades. Yeah. Boy, am I glad I got you. I tell you. I'm right on top of it. <laughs> Do we need a date on this? Uh, just in the corner, just to make sure. Week Week seven. 16, yeah. Okay. So here we do this. And that goes back in the box. This goes on top of there. Okay. And now I have to change. take. This was the week 17 44. number 44. 44. Okay, I'll put that on you and hold it. Okay, back to you. Okay. So I'm going to do this.
Week 17. Okay. I'll take a picture of the board. Keep the camera in. Let the board. Oh, yes. Yes. There's a winner. It's a, the lowest number on both sets now. Mm -hmm. it That's it. Okay. okay. Now, Vanna one and two are going to disassemble the board. Heidi. Vanna one and two. So we've got the jackpot for week number seventeen. Vanna three and four will do. This thirty-eight twenty-five is the progressive, and the total next week is three thousand nine hundred seventy-five dollars. Okay, <clears throat> Vanna one and two. Here we go. Starting at 52, and here we go. You don't have to All the numbers, yeah, yeah. That's right. What would have to look For example, if 40. Um, if today, for example, if we had picked this and they had said number 8, for example, that would be confusing. Okay? It's all that gone. So what we have to do is go to the lowest number envelope that has not been chosen, which would be number five. And that's the way it works. Every week. Every week. And, yeah. Because you could have somebody put the wrong number on. Thinking. What happens if everybody Yes, Sue, I do have you in the frame. No, I wasn't looking for that. No, no. I'm just... just Warning you. <laughs> Keep your clothes on, girl. Keep your clothes on. Woo! Nobody wrote envelope one on their tickets. Oh, I shouldn't get so much sleep on these tickets. You just keep it to the numbers that they put on their own. Yes. They could have a number that's already been chosen. No, no, but let's say they didn't. No, it's not fair. Listen. If they had, um, say this is draw number uh, 30, for example, okay, we've got to draw 30, and that person says on their ticket, um, number, any number, and that number had already, no, had no, okay. hope, had no. already been chosen. No, okay, we're going for 26 weeks, it, right? Yes. Okay, so and the envelopes are all the there, there and back in the box. Okay. Who's the security meister? Okay, Sue, so you're it now. Okay. Uh, close the lid. Flip the metal up. And then figure out how that works. I think I can do this. Don't, yeah, through the hole first, I think. I'm not sure if you have to turn the key to make it go on or not. No. Okay, you're going to carry the box to the safe? Sure, I'm getting the key back. And now we go back to security in the office if Dave is there. Dave! On there.
Your job. I'm Canada, yes. I'm the, uh, the freak squared, I guess, so to speak, of the law of things. Thank you. Thank you, Dave.